Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day. Well, this is spaghetti with meatballs. Really good meatballs, and that's what makes it so special. Do you like spaghetti and meatballs? I do. If you make them right, they're really wonderful. Let me show you how to do it. Well, you start with one egg, and I'm only gonna make a small portion, really enough for two people. And to that, you wanna add some spices. A dash of nutmeg, that's right, nutmeg, just a little about like that and then some cayenne pepper give it a good sprinkle this just adds a little bit of zip to it and next up parsley flakes and these are dried parsley flakes if you have fresh we'll put some fresh in not too much just a little about that much okay and then some onion powder All of these add to the flavor, and this is what makes the meatball so special. About that much onion powder. And then I'm going to use Lowry's seasoned salt. And you can see how much I'm putting in. Okay, about that much. And then garlic powder. I'm making this really easy, as easy as I can. You could use fresh garlic but this is much easier. So garlic powder, so all of those spices, and now you want to beat the egg and mix those spices in with the egg. Simple, huh? Really it is. And you just take your time and mix this together. And I recommend you use all the spices and ingredients. A lot of people like to substitute, like these breadcrumbs. This is Italian style breadcrumbs. If you can get some, please do and use this exact same kind. People say, well, can I use this or something else? Well, you can, but it won't taste the same. And then I have a pound of hamburger meat, ground beef, and I'm only gonna use half of it. Like I said, I'm just making this for two people and I'll use the other half of this for a hamburger. <laughs> anyway, so you break that meat up and put it in the egg mixture, egg and spice mixture, just like that. And you start to combine it and this is when you decide if you need more breadcrumbs or not, if it's too wet. And this seems very wet, so I think I'm going to need to add some more uh, breadcrumbs. Get my hands clean. And back to the breadcrumbs. And sprinkle on some more of the Italian-style breadcrumbs. Don't skip this part. If you don't have any, go to the store. Next time you go, get some breadcrumbs. And then work this together, work it in like this, and it'll start to come together. Now, I'm not squeezing it, I'm trying to keep it as light as possible, but you also have to mix the ingredients. So you can see how I'm just gently handling this, almost like a biscuit dough when you think about it. Now there's a couple more ingredients I want to add. First, some pepper, some black pepper. And you don't have to add pepper if you don't want to, but it adds a, another layer of flavor, just like that. And then some cheese, some real Parmesan cheese, going to grate some in. And of course this adds wonderful flavor. And you don't need a lot, about that much will do. Okay, so far so good. Anyone can do this. You just have to take your time and go step by step. And now you want to fold this in, fold it together, mix it together to distribute the cheese and the pepper a little more. And it's okay if it's not perfectly distributed. In fact, that's better so that when you do take a bite of a meatball, it might be a little heavier flavor of garlic this bite. And then the next one you get more cheese. And then the next one you get a little bit of another flavor, just slight variations I'm talking about. But those differences add such a wonderful uh, taste experience. And so once you get that together, it's time to make them into balls. You just pinch off and roll in your hands about the size of a golf ball. And you can make them any size you want. And I'm gonna be cooking this in this little toaster oven. Once you get them all rolled together, it made seven, just the right amount. Plug this in and we'll bake these in this toaster oven 
with the rack up set high for about 20 minutes. You just have to watch them. And while that's cooking, I'm going to start the sauce. And in a pan, a nice heavy pan, I'm going to put a little olive oil and add some onions. And we want to lightly saute these onions, a fine diced onion, and then add some salt and some pepper to the onions. And now this is the sauce I'm going to use. Very inexpensive canned sauce. Of course, homemade sauce is the best, but this is so much easier and it tastes so good that to me it's not worth the effort of making the homemade sauce. I'm going to also add to that sauce some crushed red pepper flakes, just like that. And now the meatballs are done. Take a look at that. Mmm, delicious. We'll get them out and bring them over. And the sauce has been uh, cooking and it's hot and it's bubbling. And we're going to add these meatballs in and let them just simmer in the sauce. Beautiful. And while those meatballs are simmering away, we'll start our spaghetti. We'll get some water and add a generous helping of salt. And once the water starts boiling, we're going to add about a teaspoon of olive oil. And then I'm just going to make enough pasta for myself. I'm just making my own meal. You know, my wife's not even home today, so this is just for me. So if I was making for two, I would cook more pasta. Once the pasta is done, drain the pasta. And then you want to get a little of the sauce and add it in to that fresh, hot pasta. A couple of nice ladles full. Turn the heat off the sauce and you want to stir the pasta in the sauce and get all of the spaghetti coated, a light coating of the spaghetti sauce and then you can pour it into a serving bowl or this is just the bowl I'm going to eat out of <laughs> and then put the meatballs in. Beautiful! It already looks so good. Spaghetti with homemade meatballs. Mmm! This is wonderful. I do hope you try this. And then we're going to add some more of that Parmesan cheese right on top and then some fresh basil and fresh really makes a difference it brightens everything up makes it taste homemade look at that beautiful spaghetti with meatballs and it tastes delicious let me tell you let me cut open one of these meatballs and let you uh, have a look at it they're wonderfully cooked and very very flavorful nice and tender and moist beautifully cooked let me see if I can get some. Get a bite of this with the spaghetti. Mmm. Yes, that is so good. You will like this, I promise. Well, that's how you do it. It's just that simple and it's worth the effort. This is really an easy spaghetti and meatballs recipe. I hope you try it. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now.